In this question, we're given a signal with a bandwidth of 4 kilohertz. So it's band limited to 4 kilohertz. That's the only thing we know about it. We don't know the shape of the spectrum, but we can, we can draw any arbitrary shaped spectrum with a band width of 4 kilohertz. And we know that it's sampled at 6 kilohertz. The question says it's undersampled, but we know that because we can calculate the Nyquist rate um, as twice the bandwidth, so that's 2 times 4 kilohertz, so that's 8 kilohertz. And the sample rate is 6 kilohertz, and that's less than the Nyquist rate. So we know it's undersampled. But that's not the question. The question is, how much can we recover? How much of the original spectrum can we still recover? So to answer that question, what we'd need to do is sketch the spectrum after, um, after um, sampling. And that's really easy because the spectrum replicates, it copies itself, and like we can keep adding these replicas at integer multiples of the um, sample rate. So a sample rate of 6 kilohertz. So we have replicas at 6, 12, 18, minus 6, minus 12. So it goes on in both directions, negative and positive. Uh, let me just clean that up. So these are our replicas. And these exist as a result of sampling, nothing to do with the aliasing. So where's the aliasing? The aliasing is happening here in the overlap. That's the aliasing. That's what we're not happy about. Because here the spectrum has been corrupted. There's, there's no way we can filter that out. But you'll notice that the spectrum from 0 to 2 kilohertz hasn't yet been corrupted. So if you imagine for a second that we had a low pass filter with a band pass or a cutoff frequency of 2 kilohertz, we could still recover that portion of the spectrum. So we can still recover. Let me just do that. We can we can still recover this much. We can recover from minus two to two. So we can still recover two kilohertz of the original spectrum. Okay. As a percentage, that's 2 out of 4, which is 50%. So we can still somehow salvage some of our signal. So what we would use would be a low-pass filter. And we call such a filter an anti-aliasing filter. It hasn't prevented aliasing, but it's allowed us to recover some of our signal. So an anti-aliasing signal takes an aliased signal, sorry, anti-aliasing filter takes an aliased signal and recovers part of it. Now we could have applied this filter or a similar filter before aliasing happened. And that would also be called an anti-aliasing filter. And it would probably be better to apply the signal before sampling because then aliasing wouldn't have happened. And I'll explain this again in a further video. So the answer here, how much of the original signal? You can either say 2 kilohertz or 50%, depending on how the question is phrased.